Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick little video to uh, show everybody the results of this uh, project I've been doing to try and make a quote-unquote perfect uh, save file in Path of Radiance to do transfer into uh, Radiant Dawn. So, uh, as you can see, it's uh, taken a while. It's taken longer than what it says that display caps out at 995959, but uh, uh, that happened, I think, two chapters of, of boss abuse um, ago. <laughs> So it's been much longer than that. And as you can see, I, I've copied the save file um, into all of these. Um, these four before I did anything. And then this bottom one, I did the um, sap last uh, application of sap boosting items to um, get some people to caps. And then these are in case I ever want to redo that last step. So we'll jump into the sort of finalized version. Um, I was able to get every character to level 20, uh, with the exception of uh, a couple of Lagoos. So Janif, Morim, uh, Ina, Olki, and Ranulf. They are the only ones I didn't hit uh, level 20 with, so you can't say that it's perfect. Um, you know, I'll try and give them a couple levels in this final, final battle, but uh, it, it doesn't really matter. And the, the reason I saved them for last it was because it doesn't really matter. They're not going to hit any caps and stats there. It's, it's extremely unlikely. So, um, you know, there's some, there, there is a, it is, it's not perfect, but, um, uh, uh, we did pretty good. So when, when I think about, uh, transfer bonuses, I mostly think about, or the first characters that come to mind are Ike and, um, so because, so it, it has the unique s situation where he can't promote, but if he hits level 20 unpromoted, uh, all of his stats transfer over as they are, which makes for a very tanky unit in Radiant Dawn, where, uh, in, in Makai's army, you definitely need, you need, uh, as um, all the help you can get, and particularly on the hardest difficulty. So, uh, a beefy so that is a huge, a huge boon. I mean, he's a good unit to begin with, without transfer bonuses. But then, yeah, Ike, Ike just kind of naturally caps a bunch of stats. Um, this wasn't even really reset grinding, and he got uh, everything that you see here, except for resistance. He only hit 20, but I used one of my two talismans to get him to that cap. So, um, I could have used two Seraph robes to get his HP cap also, but I decided to use them on, or one of them on Soth, and then one on somebody else, just because it wouldn't, I, I, I needs both, and without both, there was no reason to give a dike. Um, so yeah, that's, an, that's one of the things I could do with one of those other files if I decide to redo that. But yeah, um, I, I, I becomes, I thought the, the resistance would, was better for, for Ike than for Soth, because Soth just kind of gets a little bit more resistance where, I gets the big big boost from it being full, um, and resistance is the closest thing that I has to a weakness in Radiant Dawn. So, figured I might as well shore that up. So, so he's gonna the, the beefiest Lord of Radiant Dawn is going to be uh, even beefier. And I'll just go through Alencia. I did a lot of reset bonus experience on her. I got her to um, I, uh, I think level fourteen in in the battle that she joins Clash, uh, hitting. Uh, hitting the boss over and over again with her sword to raise that weapon level and then healing other people who were um, boss abusing. But then I was at, at level 14, that was the point where she needed strength every single level up to hit the cap. And so I said, all right, well, I'll just do, I'll just reset the, for these level ups with bonus experience. And so that got me a strength cap, which is nice to have because of course, uh, having a unbreakable brave weapon and a uh, strength boost is uh, very handy. So she'll be, uh, she'll go from great to even greater in Radiant Dawn as a unit. So that's cool. Mia did very well for herself. Uh, that strength is nice for her. Uh, Lucia just got skill. As you'll see, the pre-promoted units don't do typically well. It's kind of uncommon for them to cap any stats, so it's not like skill does much for her. She doesn't have a problem hitting things in Radiant Dawn, but, you know, anything is better than nothing. Uh, and now, yeah, the, the run of the, the, the failures, uh, sadly. Uh, and as yeah, as you can see, left. This is what happens when you get a Lagoose level twenty. They don't have any stats capped. Um, missed, a little disappointing. Kind of would have liked speed, but magic is all she really needs. So that's that's fine. Volk, pretty good, uh, pretty good spread. Uh, not like he needs uh, s skill or speed. Um, strength is nice, but again, he, he joined so late, and so this is a required unit. Even though Whisper is an awful class, and uh, uh, 
you'd much rather have someone with lethality than uh, whatever the the leave them with one HP uh, skill is called that that horrible skill. But yeah, if I decide to use a bunch of uh, thieves, then uh, well, here we go. Um, Kieran, I was pleased with uh, that that speed will be nice for him in Radiant Dawn. He's kind of a middling unit that doesn't have great availability, but that speed will be a nice uh, buff. The defense skill are just kind of icing on the cake. Again, level 20, Lagoos, it's not going to have any cap stats in, in Path Radiance. Uh, Soren, I was very pleased with. Uh, I did use the speed wings to get him that uh, speed cap, but he, he naturally kept magic skill and res on his own, so he's he's going to be a real, a, an absolute unit uh, going into Radiant Dawn. Uh, apologize for that pun. Uh, and yes, I did get the Ike support so we can um, have everything unlockable with this file. Um, Torneo pre-promote, didn't get anything. W uh, could have done a stat booster for strength, could have done two a a HP uh, stat boosters to get HP, but that's, he's fine. You only, he, he serves his purpose in part, the couple of chapters he's available in, in parts one and three. That's all he needs to do. He's fine at doing it without any bonuses. Um, but I guess he'll have some weapon uh, EXP transferred in, which is which is nice. Um, Stefan, not great availability in Radiant Dawn, but uh, he will have a couple of great stats um, capped for the couple of chapters he's there. Bastion, pre-promote, didn't get anything. Largo, pre-promote, got a bunch. I, I don't, I'm not sure I realized but going, before I started this process how um, great Largo's growths are. So um, all of these, of course, will go to Khalil. She does not need the strength, but uh, the skill, the speed, and the HP are all nice. Well, the skill and the HP are nice to have, and the speed is, is terrific. So um, he, he will make Khalil an even better unit, which is uh, pretty cool. Good good job, uh, Largo. Uh, Joffrey, pre-promote, but he actually hit the defense, and so that's pretty cool. I could have redone, I could have, if, if I ever for some reason want to super Joffrey, I could redo the, the stats and uh, get him... Um, strength, speed, and I guess it, technically HP, right? 14, yeah. Uh, but I don't see why he would. He's he's fine as he is. He's good enough. So, yeah, so, so um, we've got the HP cap, the strength cap, the skill cap, the speed cap, the defense cap. I give him all the luck boosters, um, so that 23 luck will transfer in. Nine resistance is not a ton, but it's, it's, um, it's not nothing. Magic doesn't matter. So yeah, we, we have a, a, a burly little episode going into uh, Radiant Dawn, so that's great. We, we, we like to see, particularly that 20, I mean that 20 defense, uh, that was after booster, but he's, he, any transfer so is always kind of a monster, um, so it's not like this is the craziest so you've probably ever seen. Um, I mean, I guess it's as crazy as the craziest you've ever seen, because this, what, what, what can you do when the cap's at 20? You're, you're going to hit 20. Um, Rolf kind of would have liked to see something other than speed. I, from memory, he doesn't really have the problems doubling. I guess he starts at a pretty low level. So at least with this, he'll, he'll almost certainly be doubling everything, which is, uh, well, that's nice. Um, he was, I, I will say about Rolf, he was very, uh, he was a real pain to, to level up because he is so light that for boss abusing, there's no way to make it so that he um, can't, like he can't rescue anybody. So you can't slow him down. So he's always going to be doubling these bosses, and because the sniper class has an innate crit chance, he, he he's always doubling, always with a chance to crit. So it's very tricky to to keep the boss alive while you're leveling him up. So um, he he was uh, surprisingly the biggest pain I think of of the entire grind. Uh, Boyd would have liked to see um, skill or speed, but you know HP and strength, his good stats are going to be better. Uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Tormod, I, <laughs> I was really pleased with the little guy. Uh, he he capped that magic skill and um, speed. The I did I actually did do the some some resetting and, and uh, bonus experience for him just because uh, when he was I think level eighteen he was two away in both magic and speed and I was like I can't believe he's gonna get both of these caps so. I, I, I actually am going to give this to him. So I, I did do um, a little bit of resetting uh, for that. Uh, though it didn't take long. And um, yeah, obviously, if you know Radiant Dawn, you know he's not got great availability. But I, I, I always liked him as a character. So it'll be nice that he's even better now. And um, 
and the one like sort of cutscene uh, where he does when he rejoins in part four, and he he does a little bit of damage to a uh, to an enemy unit. I, I guess he'll do a little bit more now with that uh, that bonus of magic. Uh, that's so that's pretty cool for for the um, for the Radiant Dawn nerds out there who know exactly what I'm talking about. Makalov, uh, defense and speed. The speed is kind of nice. I basically always feel like in Makalov is short on killing power, so either strength or speed are really what I want. Um, preferably both, but I'll take one. Brahm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of. Um, I basically had a choice between uh, Brahm, uh, Gatry, and... Um, uh, I forget who else. After I decided to use the one Seraph robe on Soth to, for, for who to cap HP, because there weren't that many characters that had, um, uh, that were seven away from, from the HP cap, but Brahm was one of them. So I gave him that HP cap. It doesn't really matter. HP is not, anyone who is close to capping HP is going to have plenty of HP. So it was kind of a, it didn't really matter that much as a, as a choice, but his defense and his HP are going to be even better. Um, the skill is nice because he's using Axis and Radiant Dawn, so he's, he's going to be even more accurate. Um, he's going to be even more defensive, um, and uh, he's got great availability, so uh, good job, Rom. I'm, I'm proud of how he turned out. And Z-Hark, very impressed with that. Um, I, I did use one of the um, defense boosters, I believe, on him because he was one of the only characters that was close to a cap who, who is um, in Makai's army, and I always like getting a bit more defense into Makai's army. Uh, but yeah, that strength and defense are phenomenal. Speed, he doesn't have any problem doubling, so it doesn't really matter. Khalil didn't get anything, but it does not matter because she's getting the stats from Largo. So that skill, that speed, the strength doesn't matter. But uh, the HP skill and speed, very cool. Tanith would have liked to see strength, maybe magic, because she kind of has, she's the sort of token uh, magic sword user. But, um, you know, that, that's Pegasus Knight's for you. She's going to be even better at being a Pegasus Knight. That's... That's how the class is. Um, Jill, I, I did top off her speed. Um, so the speed and, and strength is great to have for a, a part one, part three uh, Makai's army unit. Um, would let, maybe like to see defense just because obviously her defense is, is great once she gets going. But uh, more defense in Makai's army is always nice. Uh, but the skill for an axe user is nice. The, the, the strength and the speed, always nice. So pretty cool. Titania pre-promote, the fact that she got skill is is uh, impressive enough. I uh, would have liked to see other things, but that's pre-promotes. And again, she's a great unit, even in Radiant Dawn, um, so it, 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 it's not that big a deal. Gatry was so... I, I, I probably could have, maybe even should have given the HP to Gatry. I guess it doesn't really matter between Gatry and Braum which one I chose to cap out, but I was more annoyed with Gatry that he was one point away uh, from capping his HP on his own, and he didn't. But yeah, strength, defense, he's just better at what he's already good at. Um, Devdan, Devdan is a, like Largo. He he transfers his bonuses to someone else. So, he, so he's going to transfer his bonuses to his uh, friend, brother, dad, son. I, I, it's, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if I don't remember or if it's not clear. I think it's just a joke. But yeah, uh, he's going to transfer his stats to Danved. But uh, he did, he actually got one. I was not expecting him to get anything, but he got strength, so. Good job, Dev Dan. I'm sure Dan Ved will appreciate it. Uh, Har, we we got strength for him. Um, I, uh, yeah, he doesn't really need anything. I mean, you know how good Har is in, in Radiant Dawn, but uh, I guess having your good stats cap out is nice because uh, you can use bonus experience to, to round out your other stats more easily. So this this positions Har to be uh, from the best unit in the game to. Uh, an even better version of the best unit of the game. Oscar, I really would have liked to see strength or speed with him. I didn't get it. Uh, defense is kind of nice. He doesn't really need skill. He's pretty accurate, but you know, well, what can you do? Uh, Rayson doesn't really matter. The skill is nice, I, I guess, just because it's nice to see those nice glowing green numbers. Uh, Reese, and more, more of what he's good at, magic and resistance. Skill is just kind of a, a whatever. Um, would have liked to see speed, of course, because that's his biggest problem stat. But didn't get it. That's okay. Ileana, it's kind of amusing that she capped four stats. Um, the strength does not matter at all. Uh, the, the skill kind of matters because she's using inaccurate thunder magic, particularly at the start. 
he's not going to be that accurate in it. So obviously, again, speed would have been really nice, but uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, she's She's got uh, some buffs, and that's what's important. Nephany, again, would have liked to see defense uh, for her, just because she's sort of a frontline unit-ish. But um, she's got the strength and the speed and the skill. Uh, more of what she's good at as Halberdier. So that's that's nice to see. Uh, Shinan, any stats at all for pre-promote is nice. Strength being one of the better ones. I don't think he really has any problem doubling. So more damage out of the gate. Uh, one of the better archers in the series. Uh, at least in Radiant Dawn. Uh, so he, he's it's going to get even better. So that's nice. Marsha did, unlike Tana, got that strength. So we like to see that. Plus, of course, the, the classic... Pegasus skill and speed. And uh, I believe this is the last one. Yeah. Uh, more strength is kind of her problem, but um, in Radiant Dawn, I think she does start out kind of struggling to double. So uh, for, for, for if you ever want to use her in Radiant Dawn, that's um, that's nice to, uh, to have that speed in particular, but uh, not a game changer. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, I, I just want to do a sort of final wrap up. I'll, I'll scroll through to show you all the weapon levels because that's the only other thing that transfers. Uh, the sort of two failure points of this run um, was I, I didn't get S ranks for everybody or and max out their other ranks. So you can only get one S. If, if your character can use multiple weapons, you can only S rank one of them, but you can get the others to A. I did not do that for every single character. Um, so that was a failure. And then of course, the not doing more for the Legus was a failure. Um, it was an interesting sort of process. I, I was sort of just imagining when I set out to do this, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to grind, whatever. But it's actually kind of tricky. Um, Path of Radiance is, is probably the hardest game to do this in, to get every character to level 20, because there's no repeatable battles. There's very few um, stationary bosses on heel tiles. There, there aren't actually that many uh, Cs maps in the game, and certainly not that many late game where the bosses actually kind of provide a good amount of experience. Um, they're, they're, like I said, there's really only like four. Oh, I think I said three earlier, but um, there's also the boss before the um, Black Knight. Uh, that that Halberdier is on a heel tile too. So um, you, you, you don't have a ton to um, to work with. And you can't access the convoy in battle, so so you need to like fully out outfit your characters. And if you like, you know, one more iron sword would have gotten you. Oh, and you can't, of course, you can't buy like weak weapons at, at any point in the game. You need to remember to stock up earlier, which I did not do a good job of. Um, so, and then of course, easy mode. Well, at least for my copy of Radiant Dawn, I don't have the the new version, the the later version, the later printing that they did where. Uh, the glitch is gone where you can transfer easy data in easy mode would have made this grind much quicker because of course the exp yields are better um so there's a lot actually working against you um and getting all this done and so it was kind of a fun challenge to do it in addition to just being a, a tremendous uh, time sink uh, just a, a grind but you, yeah you actually have to do a little bit of planning so yeah the, my points of failure i'd say we're, we're not not doing more for everybody's weapon level and um the other big point of course is the lagoos on, on some level it's the lagoos who who have failed me <laughs> because they're they're just kind of weird units but i also feel like i failed the lagoos because i i think they could be made uh better i think the secret is to um do more use in in normal fights use anybody who's in a class that has a crit chance. So sword masters, as I said about Rolf, he's a tricky one to boss abuse on. Uh, Berserker, sword master, um, and um, sniper uh, in particular. Use kind of them in normal normal battles where you can't grind, but also use Lagoos. And, but, but never level them up. So basically it's just like every chapter in the game field, all your Lagoos and get them as close as you can to 99 experience. Uh, and then use bonus experience to um, basically use bonus experience every single one of their level ups, but only like to get them over the edge. So you're not using that much bonus experience. And um, that that's basically, I think, what you would need to do to get actually some capped stats out of the Lagoos. So if you feel, I, I can't promise that will work because I, I have not tried. Um, 
I, maybe I'll make a follow-up and, and, and not do the, the boss abuse on every single character, just grind Lagoos, and, and that way I'm talking about to see how that works, and I can report back, but uh, that's my idea. I think that would work better if you if you want to do this yourself. Uh, use more of the Lagoos throughout the entire game, but, but just try not to level up with them in battle. Uh, technically, you could do that with every single unit in the entire game. Just like stretch your bonus experience as far as humanly possible and then reset for as many levels as you possibly can for every single character with bonus experience. And that would give you a more perfect save file than this where, you know, for all you could even have Icava's magic capped for some reason. Uh, luck is too high for anybody to cap, I think. And, uh, but, but you could get every character with like every stat if you really wanted to, maybe. Um, it may not actually even be possible, uh, but it would be an interesting challenge to sort of, th this is, this is what happens when you just barely abuse bonus experience and, um, just kind of normally get everyone to 20 by boss abuse. It, it may be possible to get kind of stupidly good results with like everybody having almost every stack, every character looking like Alencia basically, where there's only like one or two, uh, or everyone looking like Ike where there's only one or two stats they haven't kept. Um. But I think that's overkill. I mean, well, the, th this whole thing is overkill. So um, I don't know. I I if you can do better than this, I I'd love to see it. And uh, I'd love for you to tell me exactly how. I think I figured out exactly how. But yeah, this is as good as I did in uh, probably about 150, 160 hours. I, I wish I could see the exact amount of playtime. Uh, of course, a lot of times I like go to dinner and, and leave it on or something. So it's not completely accurate uh, for how long it was actually took to do this. But but yeah, from now on, when I want to go play Radiant Dawn, I've got a, a handy, well, after I, I'm going to beat this this level and, and, and save at the epilogue, um, I'll have a handy file here for all of my transfer needs. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.